And we're back for another week over dry reality. <laughs> we're not in the party pit. No, we're I not. Can't, I Which, can't be a beer. Yeah, you, yeah, you I can't. We're just back in a regular room now. Child size bedroom. Matt, Mike, and Adam, we are back. It is over dry reality. We're glad to have you. Thanks for watching again. And what's going on, guys? What's got, what is up? I got my seat back. Yes, you do. You do yeah, have your seat back. back. Andy's not center. here. Andy's not here, so you can have your seat. It's my seat. Back in the center. Yeah. You are back in the center. Congratulations. Welcome back. <laughs> so. Did you guys see, you know, I was playing with my Apple phone. I was actually about to go to T-Mobile and think about upgrading. And today, boom, they dropped a bombshell. iPhone 5, uh, iPhone SE. Or yeah, iPhone, iPhone SE. Yeah, I watched the, uh, the the keynote or the address on it earlier, the, the live stream on Apple.com. Um, the only th- first thing I thought is that I like that phone a lot. I'm going to buy it. That's the first thing you thought? Yeah. Because it's it's a four inch screen, which I like the smaller phone. He likes the four inches. Yeah, I don't like those giant things. That kind of stuff hurts. He can you know, only, he can only handle the four inches. Those big, those bigger phones like that, they hurt. You know, you're sitting there laying in your bed, it falls, hits you in the face. So I I, I like it. It uh, it has pretty much the same specs as the iPhone 6s Plus, as far as like uh, processors, A9 processor chip. Uh, the CPU is very similar, and but it's like half the cost. So you can buy the 64 gigabyte for 500. Yeah. You know what the 64 gigabyte cost for the 6 Plus or 6S Plus? Probably like 700. No, a thousand. No. I bought one for Brittany, dude. It came to like 970. <laughs> so it's almost like half the cost of that. I hope she freaking blew you for like three hours after well, that. She bought me a MacBook Pro. So okay, well then. Yeah, there you go. It kind of balanced out of there. All right. But a lot of people, I've seen parodies all day, like talking about, oh, the screen is so small. Oh, like, who wants to play on a 4.4 inch screen? Like, does the screen really matter now these days with since everyone's coming out with the bigger phones? To, to me, because uh, I've had – I have huge hands. I have, like, the freaking biggest man hands of all of all time. Like, I mean, like, my hands are huge compared to Adam's. Uh, I have the Galaxy Note 5, and I've been using Notes since the 2. So I've had the Note 2, 3, 4, and the 5. And whenever I have, like, especially your, like, my dad has, like, the note, what do you, what do you have, the, uh, the iPhone 4? I have 5. I got the, the iPhone 5. 5. You have the dude, iPhone I've 5. had it for, like, 3 my, years already. My dad, my dad has, years, my, I think my dad has the iPhone 4. When I have your oh phone God, or dude. my dad's phone in my hand, it feels like a toy. It doesn't even feel like a phone. The it's so It's small. so small. And I small. fat finger everything. And <laughs> he has big, fat ass hands, too. And he triple fat fingers every, every time. Like, uh, it's, yeah, it's like space bar send and he's tr- he's Q tr- at the same time. He's trying to push send on emails and stuff. Stuff and he fat fingers it, and then he gets mad at me because I'm fat fingering it too, and I'm like, "You're doing the same thing I'm doing, so why am I? Why am I at fault here? It, it, it's it's too small. It's too small for me. I can't and, handle uh, it." The other thing Apple uh, introduced, they have this robot. It's called Liam, and it's for recycling phones. So you can all your old iPhones, you can drop it off at an Apple store, or get a prepackaged envelope, <laughs> and it takes the phone apart and breaks it down piece by piece, like screw by screw. So is your wallet? It's Wally. Uh, it's called Liam. It's Wally. It, <laughs> it it's wa- it's yeah. Wally, but for phones. Yeah, it's called Liam, and it like <laughs> takes it all apart and separates it, and then they recycle it because that's the big thing now. Is like for them to be like a completely green company. So, yeah, but why it, am I gonna recycle my phone do, when do you, I get taken get money for it? Do, do you get I to like, do you get to watch it happen? Well, they showed a demonstration how it comes. Dude. It's like this little robot. I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm screwing, taking everything apart. That'd be cool to watch. I wouldn't want to like, just oh, like, oh, here hey. you go. Drop your phone and watch it get disassembled. How, hell yeah. I'd, I'd watch that. Yeah, that'd be kind of cool. That'd be kind of cool. But I guess cool. they, uh, and right at the top of the event, he did say about how the government shouldn't be intruding on people and that whole, like, he didn't really call out the FBI, but basically Tim Cook said, like, yeah, we stand behind a privacy because your phone is basically a part of you now. Right, like, it is. It's privacy. It's like your own home. That's like giving the FBI a spare key to your house. More you or less. I mean, you yeah. got you got your bank statements. You yeah, got your everything. you got your credit. Like you, you can you don't even need like credit cards or anything anymore. You just wave your phone. Apple yeah. Pay. Yeah, Whoop. and that comes on the new little phone as well now. But the thing is, do you think a lot of people are going to buy this new Apple iPhone? I don't think so. But there is. They said thirty million like four inch phones were sold last year. I can believe it. So I can still believe it. Yeah, there's. They say the smaller phones for like your first time Apple users. Like my mom, she was the first time buying her first iPhone last year, and she got a 5s. Even though they already had the six plus and six and the six and six plus, but she wanted a slightly smaller phone and a little bit cheaper price point. I mean, for people that want a smartphone that aren't all into like technology like, like we are. Yeah, like something like super customizable or like a giant screen. They just want a smartphone where they can get on the internet, check their email. Use it a map here and there, like it's a perfect phone. But but then again, you've also never had a large phone. Like the what the, the biggest phone you had was what? Like your Sidekick? No, I had a Galaxy 
S Galaxy S, dude. The Galaxy, Galaxy S, the, dude, the first, first one? one. Yeah, that was that was a bigger phone yeah, at the, yeah. of the it time. Was, it was yeah, it was bigger it than was. the iPhone. It's th- I mean, I once I switched over to bigger phones, like once I started getting into the Galaxies and stuff, I I couldn't go back. Like when I when I have those small phones, like it doesn't even feel yeah. like. It's 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 hard. It's like once you go black, you can't go back. Like I would say, the only reason I buy a bigger you heard phone. Heard it here first. <laughs> if the only reason I want a bigger phone would I would say to watch movies on, but right. I don't really watch movies. And I'll if I watch a couple YouTube videos on my phone, I'm watching a YouTube video. If I'm gonna watch something a little bit longer, I'll watch it on my iPad at home. The cool and thing. Why drinking Pepsi? Whose idea was to get Pepsi? <laughs> I'm so carbonated. <laughs> uh, my belly hurts still because I'm the cool- sitting down. <laughs> Uh, the, you... the cool thing about the new, that new Apple iPhone is it shoots 4K video. Yeah, oh yeah, that as well. So I mean, that's I think that's really cool because the next one I want to get, I want it to shoot 4K. I've had 4K since last August. Well, congratulations I, to you. I have the but, Note Five. I mean, it, it'd be cool for 4K, but I don't know if I'd use it all the time because 4K takes up so much data. Like you have like a two minute video, and oh, your memory's full. Like, well, should, that's true. You should just get rid of these. Nine hundred dollar Canon cameras that we have, and just start shooting on my phone because we got four. Because technically, you my, can. My, like, my, right, technically, my like, cameras got better resolution you, than our expensive ass fucking cameras. But all right, so that there, there goes the other thing. It's all about the glass, though. Yeah, the way it, it is all about the glass. The light. So like, we got a kit lens and a cinema lens, and you could probably tell the difference. Not really, but if you compare them side by side and kind of look at it, you're like, holy shit! Like, right, right, right. I mean, and like a, a cell phone, dude. That little tiny piece of glass, yeah. dude. It's. Not a lot of people are shooting are watching 4K yet. Anyways, a lot of people don't even have those new 4K TVs yet. Like Sony, the other day they announced that, hey, we're gonna take the PS4 now and we're coming out with the Sony 4K. They're called Sony PlayStation 4K. It's gonna be the Sony PlayStation 4.5. Mm-hmm. I'm thinking this thing's gonna be like seven hundred dollars. They haven't announced the price point yet, but it's not making me want to go out trade my old PlayStation. Which GameStop's gonna say the best I can do is fifty dollars, <laughs> <laughs> and they're gonna give me fifty dollars for my PlayStation. I have to pay six hundred fifty dollars. For a brand new PlayStation 4K, and it says, "Oh, we're, all your old games will be upgraded to 4K resolution." It's not true, 4K, because the games already came out in 1080. I don't think I think that's going to totally flop on PlayStation. That whole thing. I mean, I don't know, because 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 for for me, as far as like the like like the uh, the resolution of video games are now like at 1080p, like uh, compared to like uh, let's say PlayStation 3, like where. Uh, only you know, there's only ten games out there that come in that are re- true that, HD, true 1080, true, yeah. true 1080 through the PlayStation Three. It's a big difference uh, between the 720 and the 1080. But once you're coming up to like to to like 4K, it's almost like now it's just like yeah, too how much. much like how much? Can, yeah, like yeah. it's because 10, 1080 is already a 10 between 720 and 1080 is a big jump. Oh, a big difference. I, I mean, you can tell a difference between 1080 and 4K, but it's like it's. It's almost like I, I think a couple years down the road, once more people start getting into it and developing cameras and technology, then like you'll look back at 1080 and be like, "Wow, it's kind of like looking back at like 480 standard TV." We're like, gonna have to start getting even, or back to even retro video games when it was like 360p. We're gonna have or... to start getting robot eyes and like yeah. like we can't even, we can't even process information how, yeah. like we can't even process how 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 crisp that information is in our brains. Like it's our eyes are not good enough to see no. that. that's why you got to go to the eye doctor every six months yep go to the eye, go to the eye doctor every six months and just stick to playing your old school video games there so your eyes can comprehend what's going on on the screen yeah I, I, I like that 32 bit that's all I care about well speaking of like old school video games 32 bit uh Midwest, we we've already talked about it the but Midwest gaming class that's coming up US gaming classic we'll be, <laughs> yeah not US the Midwest game but it is in the US US so, we are I mean, we are in the US we are on not planet going. earth we are on planet earth still earth gaming classic <laughs> <laughs> the three of us are going to be there. I like that. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. The three of us are going to be there representing Overdrive Reality. You can check out the promo video, all the cool things we're going to have. Come say hi. Yeah, come say hello. We're going to have tournaments. Uh, yeah, I can annou- I'll can announce the tournaments here. Uh, we're going to do Mortal Kombat 2 and Super Mario Kart. We're having, Those, maybe, we're having Mortal Kombat 2 on Genesis. And Super and, Mario Kart on, obviously, Super, Super Nintendo. Nintendo. So you can come check that out. We're going to have a mobile charging station. We can come charge your phones, lounge around on our couch, and a beanbag chairs and whatever. Hang come out. hang out. We're, we're going to have we're gonna couches. Do, we're going to do a live stream. A couple we'll live streams. streams. Some interviews. We're going to be walking around. Uh, and we're going to have some exclusive contest on our Facebook page that's not just for the people at the Midwest Gaming Classic. Anyone that likes that our weekend, Facebook page that, that weekend. weekend. We, get, we got a contest going on. Yeah, a couple contests going on. So you have to check it out and see. And I do want to thank the Brookfield Inn & Suites. Yes. Soon to be the Embassy Inn & Suites. 
They took care of Overdrive Reality, their official partner for that yes. weekend, and we thank them very much for all their support. So we don't have to sleep in our cars. <laughs> yeah, because we're poor. We're not poor. We just. We, How about I, you, but <laughs> eight dollars in a bank account—that sounds kind of poor. The struggle is real. That's what happens when you buy way too expensive cars for your for your means. Yeah. Next time, buddy. Next time. Just keep it in your garage so they can't repo it. Hey, <laughs> I, I, I paid my car note. I don't have anything left, but shit, it's my car that's paid. That's it. <laughs> well, no that's gas. It. The car looks great in front of the house. <laughs> I don't got to take it nowhere. It looks, it looks good. It looks good sitting still, man. Well, it looks fast even when it's not moving. <laughs> fast as fuck. Well, on that note, we're going to wrap it up for this week. This is MT Matt, Mike, and Adam, Adam and we'll I'm see. Matt. Yeah, well, I always like question mark. Like, is that guy sitting across me? Is he Adam? Like, I'm not sure. This guy's got. This guy's. Drake Bell over here with his long hair I know. now. Like, like, I want to go like, through and watch all the episodes. I mean, not even Drake. My hair. I don't think I've got my hair cut in about a year now. No, probably not. <laughs> On that note, we'll see you guys next week with Overdrive Reality. Stick around for everything you need to know, news, video games, and more with Overdrive Reality.